diagnosis. Henna Salmeron worked to pass Hendra's law it requires mammography centers to notify women with dense breast tissue about the benefits of supplemental screenings. That was back in 2011, and she did not stop there. Now she's embarking on a 140 mile, six day endurance run. She's trying to raise money. She talked to Fox 4's Jenny and Chando about what keeps her going. We learn to live with less fear and we learn how strong we really can be. Henda Salmeron says breast cancer changed her for the better. I have such gratitude for what I have been given. First, she gave back by passing Henda's law. Then she started doing fitness fundraisers like the Hotter Than Hell 100 in Wichita Falls, Texas, the Himalayan 100, and the 170 mile grand to grand that took her through canyons and the desert. Now she's training for a 140 mile, six day extreme endurance run in Cambodia with the goal of raising $20,000 for the Bridge Breast Network. I cannot imagine as a woman getting that diagnosis and not having insurance or the financial means. I, I cannot fathom how terrifying it has to be. When she runs, funds go to the Bridge Breast Network and low income uninsured women fighting breast cancer. Henda also cross trains on her bike most days of the week, and she equates this type of extreme training to dealing with extreme illness. Because when you do a stage race and with breast cancer or any cancer or any health issue, you can't worry what's the future going to hold. And what stage racing has taught me is to focus just to the next checkpoint. She'll be one of only 40 runners from around the world to do the race. You know, I'm not a super athlete, and I'm going to compete against or with the top athletes in the world and it's not about winning it's about finishing and being fit and part of her training schedule will include a run along this road for the 33rd annual Komen Dallas race for the cure it is a race that brings up a lot of memories and perspective for Henda and I remember looking back on this thousands of women and they were you know the banners that said two years out and three and five plus and ten plus and this year, she'll be in the five-year survivor group. I'm so impressed by you. It's, I'm so lucky to have been able to interview you. Well, it's been a, a magical journey, and I, I love my life more than I can put in words. In Dallas, Jenny Anchando, Fox 4 News. All right, come in Dallas. The race for the cure is this Saturday. We invite you to join us at North Park Center. It's such a powerful morning. You can find more information on the run and how you can donate as well to Hendra's effort on our website, fox4news.com. Even if you don't want to race, come on out and support those who are running.